All right, turning to this next story, did you know cancer deaths have actually dropped 33% in the last three decades? That's according to the latest report from the American Cancer Society. That is more than three and a half million Americans saved. Statistically, we are actually seeing deaths from cancer dropping little by little every single year. This new report is giving us a glimpse into the state of cancer in the U.S. today, the good and the bad. So let's start with the good. Breakthroughs in early detection and treatment are being credited with that 33% decrease the report notes after the introduction of the HPV vaccine, cervical cancer rates in young women dropped by 65%. And this also includes new treatment for bowel cancer, which typically comes back in a third of patients. There's a new study found providing a chemo before surgery cuts the risk of the cancer returning by 28%. Now, the report also highlights areas of concern. Consider prostate cancer rates have jumped up 3% every year for half a decade. And also alarmingly, rates of prostate cancer in black men were 70% higher compared with white men, despite similar rates of screening. For more on this new report, I am joined by Dr. William Day Hutt, Chief Scientific Officer with the American Cancer Society. Doctor, it's good to see you. Thanks for being back here. Yeah, thanks so much for having me tonight. And Dr. Dayhut, there's so much progress to look at on the one hand. Why don't we start with the numbers we were just showing? Uh, right now, black men 70% more likely to get prostate cancer than white men. And they're actually two to four times more likely to die from it than every other racial group as well. If they are getting screened at the same rate as white men, why is there such a difference? I think it's probably a combination of different things. I think there may be some more uh, aggressiveness in the tumor of black men, so they're more likely to be diagnosed with a cancer that's uh, further along when they're diagnosed. There's so probably also an access to the right kind of care situation, because unlike in breast cancer, where white women are more likely to be diagnosed, but black women are more likely to die from cancer, here in prostate cancer, black men are more likely to be diagnosed, but also much more likely to die from the disease. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the progress on the other hand. Uh, for you, what was the most promising or surprising part of the report this year? Well, I think it's really exciting to see the uh, decrease in cervical cancer. Mm -hmm. This is really give hope for the future about vaccines targeted against particularly virally mediated cancers can really prevent cancer. Cervical cancer is driven by HPV vaccines or other cancers such as uh, head and neck cancers and anal cancers. So this is really an exciting news. So I think that was really the great news. And cancer deaths dropping by 33% in the last three decades, also wonderful news. And yet almost every single one of us has been touched or impacted by cancer in some way. I was really struck by the statistic overall, the, the American Cancer Society predicting every single day this year, we will see more than 5,000 new cases, more than 1,600 deaths from cancer. Now you are apprised of the absolute latest research. Are we getting any closer to a cure for cancer? Is there a single new development or a piece of research that's gi that's giving you the most hope right now? Well, I think it's important to know that actually, you know, 42% of cancers in this country are actually preventable. So there are things out there such as not smoking, drinking minimal alcohol, exercise, keeping your weight good that can actually prevent cancer. So and then we're seeing some exciting changes. I think the changes in immuno-oncology led to really dramatic decreases in death in melanoma and in lung cancer and bladder cancer. So I think combining new technology, new treatments, and just doing things that make sense, we can really start to make an impact. And what are some of the early warning signs that you want people to watch out for at home uh, that they, where they do need to look out for it and have it checked out by a doctor, just broadly? Well, I, I think people need to trust their own bodies. You know, if, if you're losing weight unexpectedly, if you have a pain that doesn't make sense, if you have fever or sweats or unusual swelling, you know, go see your physician and be your own advocate. If it's still not right, you know, push on a little harder, maybe see somebody else, you know, request a uh, screening test if need be, but, but trust yourself when things don't feel right to have yourself checked out. That is such good advice. Dr. William Day, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks again for having me tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.